All right, new acquisition. Here's the milling machine. It's a uh, Taiwanese copy of a Bridgeport, two horsepower, Power X, everything else is manual. So we got her here last night and uh, now we'll try and get this thing shoved into position here. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that was a lot easier than I expected. Mostly thanks to these handy little wheels on the bottom here. Got the previous owner installed. They uh, pivot around there. So you just point them in whatever direction you want to go and drive away. So, electrical is the next thing. Got a variable frequency drive. That's what I'm going to be using to power this thing. Okay, give me the three phase power. Let's dig that out and take a look at that. So this is it. Variable frequency drive. This one is a 2.2 uh, kilowatt, which is 3 horsepower, 220 volt. So the basic idea is this thing takes single phase power and converts it to three phase. Along with that, you get a, uh, a host of other things that you can do with it. The most important one being you can vary the frequency, hence the name, variable frequency drive. So instead of putting out regular 60 hertz, you can put out uh, 30, 40, or 120, or whatever you want, which basically allows you to control the speed of your motor. There's a lot of functionality that comes with the package, so you can uh, customize your frequency and, uh, and voltage curve to get whatever you want for uh, amper power, constant torque sort of thing, and, uh, and a host of other functions. Major one being, we just want the uh, variable frequency drive. So what that saves you from is changing belts all the time. Basically, you set it at whatever is uh, your most common setting there. And then you just use the variable frequency drive to control your speed by push button. Very slick. Very, very slick. So this thing was uh, pretty cheap. Got it off eBay straight from China. I think it was a few hundred bucks, something like that. A whole lot cheaper than a rotary phase converter. I decided to leave mine in my other shop for the time being. It's powering my compressor very nicely. So I uh, figured I'd try this out, see how it works. So I'll get working on uh, fooling around with some wiring here. See if we can get some power happening. Okie dokie. We got some flashing lights. We got things uh, kind of wired in here somewhat temporarily. My wire's kind of overkill, I know. But, uh, so the way these uh, VFDs work here is they like driving directly to the motor which means that everything else, um, tell you the truth, I'm not 100% sure if I should have that all hooked up or not. I, um, it's bad for the VFD if you kick things on and off with switches uh, between the VFD and the motor. So uh, my question is what happens with the rest of the stuff like the coolant pump and the, and the feed here. So I'm going to check out and see if that's uh, simply running off a 110 I should be able to track that wiring down in there and if it is then I'll just uh, pull a 110 feet off of there single phase to run the uh, run the rest of the stuff here but as far as the VFD goes I uh, just uh, I took things apart inside the cabinet there wired it in directly so run we got noise look at that it be running. Can you see that? Sure you can. It's running. So uh, running at 30 hertz. Change that here. So now we go. You can hear it whining away. So if I kick that up, there's 60 hertz. So that's uh, normal running speed as indicated on here. There goes 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 20, it's running at 140, 150, 160 hertz. Pretty slick, huh? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to 
right down to like 20 hertz here. See that baby's hardly spinning. In fact, I think it's going to stop. Because I don't think 20 hertz is quite enough. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's shut itself off. So, uh, ooh, got an error. Hmm, didn't like something there. Anyway, figure it out. Yeah, so I thought I had things pretty good. I uh, managed to jury rig some 120 into there, and lo and behold, it works. How sweet is that? Variable speed and all. Rapid transverses. Pretty cool. So that's all fine and dandy till I go to run. I don't know if you can hear that phasing away there. And then as soon as the phase uh, or the uh, VFD is off, goes back to running normally. So uh, clearly we're feeding a little bit back into the panel there. So I'll have to figure out something for that yet. But otherwise, my uh, power spindle here wasn't working. Wasn't feeding in and out properly, but uh, I got it working okay now. And she's working. So nice. Up. And down. It's all good. Cool. Okay. First chips on the mill. Rock the table. Cool. Machined up an edge of a block of aluminum. Very nice.